as human beings, we, we seem to want to learn the secrets of something or hack something, crack the code, figure out, right? So I'm gonna give you the secret uh, to everything, really everything that we can possibly encounter in this world that we wanna understand and know. The secret, let's, let's use ballet as an example, or how did I get to this level of understanding of ballet and blah, 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 right? The secret to any high achieving high achievement or something that can be achieved or something you witness, the secret to that at, at the core is curiosity, right? Like deep curiosity. That's what drives everything. It's what drives relationships, right? You're deeply curious about this person that you have a relationship with. And so you try to learn as much as you can about them. And then that leads to other curiosities. You see, everything boils down at the beginning to curiosity. So you, you want to safeguard your curiosity, you know, like almost, I would say like life and death kind of protect it because the world will rob you of it if you're not careful and you don't want to let that, don't let the world rob you of your curiosity. So for example, <clears throat> for parents, like if you have little kids or you're a teacher, let's say in school, a, a kindergartner is the most curious being there is. They will ask you about everything. Why is the sky blue? Why is the grass green? Right? Why are the planets round? And these are profound questions. It's physics, it's chemistry, it's all of this biology, it's all these things, right? And they'll ask you uh, 10 questions a second. And you want to retain that to the extent that you can your whole life. You know, you'll never see a more contented senior citizen, like older person who still has that curiosity, right? So you want to, you want to really, I, I think, like head right with your curiosity. And so given that I believe in this, this is the basis of Misha's education. So he's homeschooled. He's, and he's really not schooled in the sense that we just let his mind go where it wants to go. And it's been, I mean, it's remarkable how he's developed as a human being compared to my memory of me at his age. So to some extent, we need systems, we need bureaucracies to, to run and manage civilization at the civilizational level. But as an individual, we need to promote curiosity. We need to support that. We need to let kids just let them be curious and embrace whatever they're curious about within reason, obviously, and not try to press on them too much uh, other things, because they will, as a, in a course of time, discover all the things that relate to their interest. So in other words, if Misha wants to become a pilot, he needs to study engineering, aeronautical engineering and all these things. So he will learn the skills necessary to do that. He'll prepare and then do it. Right? So I don't think we need to sort of f force kids to learn every different subject right all at once. I think Let's see where their mind goes and then support what they want to do. That's my philosophy. I'm not saying everybody should believe this, but this is just what I believe. Curiosity is the key, I think.